Okay, pickleball fans and those who want to try it, this is fantastic from Jordan here at Primetime Pickleball. You must, uh, if you really want to get into this, make sure you subscribe to their channel and learn so much, and then find your local coach and go for it. Seriously, it's such a great game. And if you email me, pickleballleagues at gmail.com, I can put you in contact with the right uh, connections in your area. And if you're interested in doing a league in your area or forming one, let me know, pickleballleagues at gmail.com, and of course, Facebook page, World Pickleball League, Facebook and Instagram pages, World Pickleball League, and for Southern California, which we're starting a league in September, SoCal Pickleball League Facebook page, and message me, and I'll become a friend on Facebook. My name's John Gill. For those who don't know, <laughs> maybe watching this through my channel, and uh, come and have some fun. Here, watch a bit of this and enjoy, uh, enjoy this. It's great from Jordan. Thanks, Jordan, and Primetime Pickleball. Of that right now. All right, so number nine also has to do with uh, mainly ground strokes and returning the ball, and that is the weight transfer. I'll see a lot of people, they see that return coming, and, and what they're gonna do is they kind of just plant their feet here, like this, you can see their leg is straight, and they don't bend their, their legs, and they just swat at the ball, and then they come up for the return. They swat it and come here, even for the backhand, they stand here, swat it, and then come up for the return. You really want to bend your knees and plant your weight on that back foot. So if I'm hitting a forehand, um, forehand return, um, I'm here. You can see my, my weight's on my back leg, leg. And then as I move through that ball, as I hit that ball, my weight is transferring from the back to the front. And then my momentum is already going forward because of that. So it's a lot easier to get up to the non-volley zone after return. Same thing, even if I'm hitting a, a slice return, as you can see, I start right here, uh, the weight, weight on my back foot, and then I'm coming in, okay? Same thing goes on the backhand, okay? Right here, uh, my weight is now on my left leg in the back, and then as I hit that slice return, I'm coming in, uh, I, my momentum and my weight transfer it is helping that ball go over. All right, so the 10th and final, last but not least, mistake that we see lots of players make is that they do not split step when they are making their transition from the baseline to the non-volley zone. You'll see a lot of players just kind of walk up and their knees aren't bent and they're not making any split step or dynamic hop so that they can be ready for um, any ball that comes their way. They're kind of just walking in. All right, so instead of just walking in and being right here, after you hit your shot, just standing here, being flat-footed, all a split step is, to put it simply, is a, a dynamic kind of hop, okay? You don't have to, it's not a jump. Okay, after I hit that ball, I'm just getting into position just like that. It, it could be as small as that, and then my weight is actually on the balls of my feet so that I can be ready to move to the left or to the right or up or back, okay? Because if I hit that ball and I'm just walking in like this and, and my, my weight's on my heels, it's going to be really hard for me to take off if I need to run for a ball or if they're gonna hit a nice down the line shot or pull me uh, to the left, okay? So what I wanna do, I hit that shot, as you can see, just I'm, I'm gonna be with my Momentum going forward, my weight is on the balls of my, my feet. And then I'm getting ready for that shot, hit it again, 
And, and every time, right before they hit the ball, I got to be already, you know, already initiating my split step so that I can be ready to hit the next one. Okay? So it's going to look like this again. I'm going to hit, get as far as I can. Okay? I'm looking at that shot. And then right before he hits, I'm going to get ready to, to stop. I'm going to initiate my split step so that I can be ready to go and hit my next shot. And then I'm coming in all the way up. Okay, and if it so sometimes I'm gonna hit a bad shot, and I don't have to keep trying to proceed up to the line. I might just split step and just stay here, play defense until I get a neutral ball, and then I'm gonna come in. Okay, hit it. Make sure I'm stopped. Okay, split step here. Okay, and I'm in. Okay, Let's do it one more time. That hitting my third. And get up as far as I can. That's the split step, making sure that you're on the balls of your feet and your weight is, is forward so that you're not flat footed, so you can be ready to move and get to any ball. All right, so hopefully you really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave a comment below. And also, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so that you can be notified uh, every time we release a new video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely subscribe, guys, to Primetime Pickleball Channel. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's just any pickleball. There's into pickleball. It's a whole bunch of different pickleball channel to watch great matches. I'll show a little bit on my YouTube, you know, some good points to get you guys into it. Uh, so different matches as well. But then you subscribe to these. You can see full matches of great pickleball. And uh, it's just brilliant. So um, come and have some fun. Check out pickleball. If you're interested in a league, which is called, in Australia, we call that a competition. We used to do, in the tennis comp competitions, we used to do our club versus other clubs. So I noticed in America, there's not as much, there's some in tennis, but there's not as much external leagues. They call that a league competition. So we represent your own club and then play against other clubs, which is so much fun. You, know, you get to get your friends, you play against other people rather than playing each other all the time. And that way you improve as well. When you play tournaments, it's not so nerve wracking because you've had some competition experience. All right, that really does help. It's getting in the zone and tuning you into that competition. Because I've seen a lot of people over the years, for tennis, for example, play terrible competition, but great and social, because they relax more, you know what I mean, until they get used to it. And it's great. So then uh, don't worry about the word competition. It's all just fun. Just fun and exercise and uh, just have a great time. So if you're interested in leagues in your area, competitions, pickleballleagues at gmail.com. And of course, go to my Facebook, World Pickleball League Facebook and World Pickleball League Instagram, and SoCal for Southern California, SoCal Pickleball League Facebook as well, and like those, and then you get more information, and explaining on there all about the competition, the leagues, and the age groups, and the divisions as well. So take care, come and have some fun, get some vitamin D out in the sun, and just have a lot of fun and with family and friends, and meet new people, so social, there's such great people in pickleball, as they've been in my martial arts and tennis career, fantastic people that uh, play that game as well. So take care everybody, look after yourself, deep breathing. As well, fresh air in the morning and night, get out and play some pickleball. Come do some martial arts with me in the future if you want, as well. We're doing seminars all around the country in the future as well, self-defense, women's self-defense. We're doing uh, the children's anti-bullying programs as well, in our safe seminar program, as well as my martial motivation to get yourself motivated as well. That's all that website's marshallmotivation.com. If you're interested in my martial arts, have a look at that. And uh, Marshall, M A R T I A L, is a martial arts, marshallmotivation.com. And we've got Kung Fu Roo as well. All right, Kung Fu Roo.tv for the young kids as well to get them motivated, to get them, uh, uh, help them with life skills and coping with bullies and, and learning respect and getting disciplined and, and, and having fun as well and, and learning like a full full personal development system for the young ones because the first seven years are very critical in anyone's life. 
All right, so that's what Kung Fu is uh, going to do as well. So take care. I'll see you soon. Don't forget my short movies on this YouTube channel as well. Have a, and action and different TV shows. I was on with martial arts. And we're making it more of a multi-sport channel, actually. So you can treat all different sports as well. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.